Hello everyone, my name is Hai and I'm going to show you how I add a painting to Wikidata and Wikimedia Commons. So the reason why I made this video is because the steps that you need to uh, add a painting to Wikidata and Wikimedia Commons uh, can get quite a bit complicated and I thought maybe I can show you how I do this process and uh, maybe you can learn something from it or maybe you're thinking oh my god this guy is doing it totally wrong it can uh, you can do it in a much faster way and if you have better methods or ways I can optimize the process then please let me know because I'm uh, interested uh, to hearing uh, how you do things okay so this video is basically unscripted I haven't really done any research on the image that I'm going to upload um, so that also means that you're gonna see my reaction uh, on when I can't find anything uh, in real time, so just so you know. So uh, with that in mind, let's get started. A little bit of an introduction on the whole ecosystem, because obviously we all know Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia that anyone can edit, which has lots of articles, but not just in English, in like 200 uh, um, uh, other languages as well. Um, so you might hear from my accent that I'm not a native English speaker, I'm actually Dutch, so I'm from the Netherlands, so my home Wikipedia is the Dutch Wikipedia. Um, but of course, uh, when you are doing work on Wikidata, Wikimedia Commons, uh, those two projects are quite international orientated. You don't have an English Wikidata, you just have one Wikidata. You don't have multiple Wikimedia Commonses, you have only one. All the media that you see on Wikipedia projects, all the images, but also all the videos, all the sounds, everything else, uh, is actually not on uh, Wikipedia, it's on a different project called Wikimedia Commons. So for example, here we have this wonderful image of a kuif karakara, um, some kind of bird. Um, and when you click on that, you get this lovely, beautiful view. But when you click on more information, uh, or whatever it's called in your language, you're gonna get a Wikimedia Commons page. So you might have come across this before. So Wikimedia Commons is basically the media repository of uh, Wikipedia and other Wikimedia projects. So what is Wikidata? So for example, um, let's say that we want to have some information about this wonderful bird. Well, as you can see the Karakara, it might be nice to know um, what language, uh, uh, how, how you pronounce his name in English. Well, and as you can see on every Wikipedia, there's always this little list of the same article in other languages. So I'm gonna switch over to English and apparently this, build, this bird is called the Southern Crested Karakara. The way this works is using Wikidata and Wikidata is basically um, a way to connect different uh, concepts of different languages together and adding all kinds of um, structured data to it. So structured data you can think about that as um, the things that you see on these info boxes over here. So these are all facts. It's not like a sentence, it's basic facts. Like for example, the conservation status of this bird. It's the least concern, which I guess is a good thing. Um, but also things like the uh, the name in uh, Latin, I think, or like a, you know, uh, like like a scientific name for it, or maybe uh, the places where it all appears, synonyms, things like that. Well, these things are not really tied to a language. They can be any language. So, for example, least concern um, is called something else in other languages, but the concept of it. Uh, that a bird uh, is, uh, is threatened or not threatened in some way is identical in all languages uh, uh, around the world. You also have this little link called Wikidata item. And as you can see here, here we've got again the Southern Crested Karakara. I'm actually I'm gonna make this a little bit wider. Yeah. So as you can see here, you have all the different languages. So English, German, Spanish, and here's Dutch again, Kuif Karakara. You also got a little description. And you also got this massive amount of other names um, for this bird. So uh, here you've got, for, a, uh, for example, the Latin name, but apparently also it's also called the Southern Caracara, the Common Caracara, lots of other names. Uh, in Spanish it's called the Traro. Um, so this is quite interesting. But if you scroll a little bit down, here you see all the basic facts about it. So for example, you can see it's a taxon, which basically means it's a species of something. So that applies to animals. Uh, you also got like a couple of images, uh, actually there's two here, and you've also got things like the text and names. So here again we have like the Latin uh, name of this bird. So really quite fascinating, this is actually quite an um, extensive Wikidata item. And here we've got the conservation status, so least concern. And as you can see, this thing links to something else, and it's, it's not a string, it's not a piece of text, it's like an item. So if I click on that, 
we get another Wikidata item with all the different labels. So this is how you can actually describe a concept in multiple languages, not just in English. But uh, because, for example, uh, least concern in Dutch is called niet bedreigde soort. That means that you can um, link these things together and you can have a multilingual uh, knowledge source, which is really quite awesome. And one thing I like to use Wikidata for and Wikimedia Commons is to add paintings. So I'm actually part of this group called uh, Some of All Paintings. Um, here we are, Some of All Paintings. We actually got this Wikidata Con Award in 2019. Yay! So um, the purpose of uh, the Summer for Paintings is actually to, well, have a Wikidata item for every single painting on the earth, uh, which is why today I'm not actually going to add a painting, I'm going to add a sculpture. Uh, but of course, like many of the uh, same rules and like techniques I'm going to show you apply to paintings or basically every other kind of item as well. So how does this work? So whenever I go abroad or, well, uh, these days not as much, uh, obviously because of the whole pandemic situation. Um, I like to go to museums and what I do there is I make photographs. So as you can see I have lots of folders here and it's um, like I have things here actually from you know 2018. This is from when I had a uh, I visited an exhibition in the Rijksmuseum which is a museum here in Amsterdam where I live. I still need to upload these someday I guess. <laughs> Um, but like I said today, I'm not going to focus on uh, places or on paintings. I'm actually going to focus on sculpture and specifically on this um, image I have over here, which I photographed. It was actually the last time I ever went outside of the Netherlands uh, in a little trip. Uh, um, I think it was in January in Cologne in Germany. I went to a museum there and I photographed a couple of things. So uh, whenever I photograph things in museums, there's one other thing I photograph aside from just this image, which is the little information sign that's usually next to a uh, piece of art. And this is really important. It tends to include lots of uh, uh, interesting details that we can use later on when I upload this stuff to Wikimedia Commons. So obviously one, one thing I need to talk about is copyright, unfortunately, because that's a very important thing when dealing with these things. So Wikipedia only accepts uh, or mostly accepts only um, images and other media uh, that is uh, uh, where either the uh, th uh, thing that you photographed is uh, public domain or you have some say over the copyright yourself. So for example, if you make a painting yourself and you upload it and you uh, decide to license it under a Creative Commons license, then it's okay because you are the owner of the copyright. If it's somebody else's painting, then you need to make sure that the a painting is in the public domain and when is something in the public domain well that's something that you can study for for years um, but basically the rule is that the uh, creator of the work needs to be dead for more than 70 years so yeah that's 70 years um, and actually it's a little bit a little bit more complex but I'm not gonna get into all the details so basically what you can do if you need to figure out can I use this is you need to add 71 years because it starts from January 1st of next year. Add 71 years to the date of death of the, uh, uh, of the creator and if that year is the current year or if it's a year in the past then you're good. So in this case I'm going to do this check with this uh, sculpture that I, uh, I shot in Cologne and let's take a look. It's from Jean-Baptiste Carpeux. Who died in 1875 which obviously is uh, like he got into public domain somewhere in the I think 40s of the 20th century so we are definitely uh, this is definitely allowed on Wikimedia Commons. Uh, so one other thing I'm going to do with this uh, with this image is I'm gonna see if it's already on Wikimedia Commons. Well it's not that bad if there's already a picture of a sculpture on Wikimedia Commons because it's nice to have different viewpoints of the same thing but it's definitely good to see if there's already like some extra information I might be able to reuse or uh, to see you know just what people have done before. So um, to do that I'm going to check if there's anything I can use uh, for the search engine on Wikimedia Commons and unfortunately we don't know if you can read this over here we actually don't know who this uh, uh, um, who this woman is, so we only know it's like a woman of the world, um, and she's apparently uh, uh, well. She was rich enough to have her uh, sculpture uh, made by uh, Jean Baptiste Carpeux, um, but we don't know who she is. So that makes searching for her a little bit harder. So I'm just gonna check if uh, Carpeux and Museum Ludwig, because that's where the thing is. Uh, located if that gets me any hits on Wikimedia Commons so I'm gonna hopefully 
get this right, Carpe and Ludwig. Well, we get lots of, I think it's probably Prince of Books or something, and maybe let's just check if Carpe, ah, yes, here we are, Jean-Baptiste Carpe. So one thing you need to notice here is we have pages on Wikimedia Commons for artists. We also got categories, oh my God, and it has like 20 different, a thousand different languages. Um, so this is nice, but actually it's a lot more interesting to look at the category because most stuff on Wikimedia Commons is categorized in categories, obviously. Um, so here you can see a couple of paintings, so that's interesting. He apparently also did painting, not just sculpture. Um, but there's also a category, Sculptures by Jean-Baptiste Carpeux. And, well, this guy definitely made a lot, a lot of sculptures, but I don't think this thing is already on here. Because let me check if there's like, there is a sculpture by Jean-Baptiste Corpeu by museum, so maybe there's one of the museum Ludwig, but I don't think there's any uh, Corpeu sculptures of the Walraff Museum, the Walraff Ludwig Museum. I might be able to see what happens if I, I hope I get this right, Walraff. Let me just check. I know it's the Walraff Ludwig Museum, but I need to make sure that I get it correctly. Yes, it's double L, single F, so I got that right. So, no, I don't think there's no um, image of any copper, either painting or sculpture, in the Ludwig Warhof Museum at all. Um, but that, that's okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is see if I can find any more information on this thing, apart from the little sign I photographed. So let's have a look at the website of the Walraff Museum. Hmm, so I wonder if they have something like a uh, collection website uh, where I can just, you know, search for the name of this painter. So like maybe see if there's some information somewhere else. And I'm, hmm, so it seems that he has some, I mean, is there like any image of this thing online, anywhere on the internet? Well, apparently not, so I think it might be the very first, this might be the very first image of this sculpture on the internet, which is uh, kind of fun, I guess. Um, so let's do that. So um, I'm going to make a wiki data item first, because it's easier to, uh, um, because it's nice um, to be able to add the QID to this. The QID, for those who don't know, is this thing over here. So it's basically the... A unique identifier for this concept. So in this case, the Q uh, ID for least concern. So the conservation category is Q2211005. Um, and you can also see it in the URL. So that's like a very quick way to look something up. So just to show you like a couple of famous Q numbers, for example, Q5, that's human. So that's you. Or for example, Q42, maybe you might be able to guess this. It's Douglas Adams because of his Guide to the Galaxy and the answer to the universe and everything. Um, so Q55, for example, is the Netherlands. So those are like the ones I know from the top of my head, but obviously like whenever it gets to more than two digits, I'm, uh, I'm out. Um, so let's make a new Wikidata item specifically for Ein Damen von Welt. I'm going to say create a new item. I'm not quite sure if you can actually do this when you're not logged in, but I would definitely recommend to make a Wikidata account because it uh, makes things a lot easier. So I'm just going to say create new item. And I'm going to give it a label, which is of course a woman of the world. And I'm going to, let's see, is there a, uh, so I'm not sure what is. Cecile de, Mar de Marquis. So I think this is, I mean, we don't know who this is, but maybe Cecile de Marquis might be the person who identified this artwork as a certain year or something. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to say um, sculpture by Jean-Baptiste Carpeau. I'm also going to search for the item on this artist because obviously I don't want to do any misspellings. Uh, Jean Baptiste Car. Uh, I think I made a typo. Baptiste. Yeah, here we are. French sculpture and painting. Well, she has much up, so that's okay. 
So I'm gonna just copy paste this to make sure that I don't make any spelling mistakes. Uh, sculpture by Jean Baptiste Carpeux. And maybe I'm gonna add in the Ludwig. I'm gonna. Anyway, this is good. So the Royal of Friendship is him. That's the, the nice, the correct. Uh, yeah, so that's that looks great. Okay, so I'm gonna say create. And here we are, we have a Wikidata item. Anyway, uh, because I also speak uh, Dutch, I'm gonna add a Dutch name as well in het. And I'm also gonna add the German one. Uh, eine Dame von Welt. No, this function is something I can't do in German, so I'm just gonna say publish. And uh, a German uh, speaking uh, viewer of this video can maybe uh, add the description of this, <laughs> this item. So, Statements. So I'm going to add a couple of statements to this thing. Um, so the most important one is instance of. So it's actually quite easy. It's, well, it's not a human, it's a sculpture. It's not our sculpture, it's a sculpture, a three-dimensional work of art. Yes, it is. So I'm going to add a couple of other, like basic things, like the, well, I mean, I can add this. I can also add the queue number to make sure that I get the right, as you can see, you get like a suggestion. So I'm just going to say that's okay. Mm, collection. Well, I guess the collection is probably mm, yeah. It's like Urban Discoratorium. Well, I'm just gonna guess it's also in the collection of this museum. Uh, but I'm not sure of that. But I'm well. I'm gonna add it anyway. So I'm just gonna say it's the collection. Is this. As you can see, you can actually, whenever you say add statement, you actually get like properties that are related to your instance of things. So it, usually the suggestions over here are quite good. So location, well, that's easy. It's the museum again. Inception. So I think, I'm not quite sure what this thing means. It's Cecile de Marquet. Maybe I'm just gonna see if I can Google her, I guess. Well, we don't know. Um, materials used, I think, uh, Gutonta Gips. Well, I'm just gonna translate that to be sure what it means. Gutonta Gips, but I suppose it's just like a uh, regular plaster. Tinted plaster. Well, let's see if we've got material used. I'm just gonna say plaster. Uh, yeah, that's okay. So now we have to look at data item. Well, let's move on to the next step, which is the image we can finally upload this image to wikimedia commons so i'm going to tweak it a little bit because it's a little bit rotated and there's this thing on the left that i don't like so i'm going to do this in photoshop but straighten layer ah oh, that's amazing isn't it crop it a little bit just filling these out ah oh, that looks amazing the wonders of artificial intelligence so i'm going to save this okay so here we are Okay, so one important thing uh, on Wikimedia Commons is to make sure that your uh, file has a descriptive file name. So in this case, I'm gonna do some creative copy pasting again. Jean-Baptiste Carpeux. And between brackets, I'm gonna add in the queue number. So I'm just gonna copy that and add this over here. Um, okay, so here we are. So we can finally upload something. Let's click on the wonderful big upload button over here. Select media files to share. And I'm gonna add this picture. Continue. As you can see here, um, you can use different licenses. By default, it's set to the Creative Commons Attribution Shell like 4.0 license. Um, I don't particularly like that license because I like uh, people to be able to use this image as widely as possible. So that's why I decided to, uh, by default, upload all my images using the Creative Commons Attribution. But actually in this case, um, I'm of the opinion that because it's not a creative work of myself, it's just like a picture of a sculpture. It's not like I, you know, particularly uh, had lots of uh, trouble making this image or doing something, you know, uh, uh, interesting with it. I'm actually going to go for CC0, so I'm going to do a public domain license. Actually, like it's not really a license, it's basically I'm saying do whatever, uh, whatever you want with this picture. You know, print it in a mock, do something uh, creative with it. Uh, I do use my regular name like my real name instead of my username, which is Husky on uh, uh, Wikimedia, um, because I like to be able to Google my name and see if I can find where my pictures end up, which tends to be quite funny sometimes. So I'm just gonna see, uh, yeah, that looks okay, next. 
Yeah, a description. So I'm going to add a description in English. There's actually a caption as well, but I'm not going to fill it in. Um, so I'm going to say here, a woman of the world, a tinted plaster sculpture photographed at the uh, in Cologne, Germany. So I'm also going to add a description in Dutch. Uh, well, as you can see, it automatically fills in the date when it was taken, the good old days before the pandemic. Um, and I'm also going to add the category. That's also something I can just copy and paste. I'm just going to do that and do that. And here we are. So publish. Uh, since recently you can also add structured data to Wikimedia Commons files, which is awesome, but uh, that probably needs a whole video of its own. I'm going to say Woman of the World, it depicts, it definitely depicts a Woman of the World. And I'm also going to add um, Sculpture, I guess. It's quite slow. Yeah, so not other Sculpture, Sculpture. Here we are, Publish. Ah, isn't that lovely? Seeing your picture that you took over nine months ago finally on the internet the very first time this picture of the sculptures ever appeared on the internet so the final thing i want to do is add this to the uh wikidata item so i'm going to do that by just copy pasting or copying this file title add statements and i'm gonna say image here we are and we're done. Okay, so that's it. Um, well, this video uh, was quite long, but obviously whenever I upload something to Wikimedia Commons and Wikidata, it doesn't take that long. Um, but I wanted to really like show you all the steps in detail and explain everything. So I hope you learned something from it and definitely feel free to uh, comment on this video or send me uh, suggestions or remarks uh, or whatever using well my email or the things that you can find in the description. I've got a couple of links there as well. And uh, well, maybe see you again. Goodbye.